Nestle DSD is the largest company-owned direct store delivery system in the United States, supplying grocers with products like drumstick cones, DiGiorno pizza, and Haagen-Dazs ice cream. The challenge for demand planning is to make sure these products, and many more, make it to the right store at the right time. For many years, demand planners at Nestle were struggling with inaccurate forecasts. You know, as we, we were growing rapidly, uh, we were uh, getting into different, new and different channels with different products, and so we, our, our portfolio was expanding. Again, I, as I mentioned, the service expectations were, were increasing, um, and the cost reduction expectations were increasing. So it was, uh, you know, as a supply chain professional, all those start to oppose each other. Gosh, I want more and better service, but I want to do it with less cost and less inventory. Nestle needed a robust solution that could help improve forecast accuracy. We lacked the ability to see the level of detail we needed. We lacked the tools to, to be able to distinguish between a, a customer's demand versus a distributor's demand. We were trying to uh, be surgical, but without the right tool set. For a DST company, it's very important to know specifically the product that uh, the product, the location, and the week that you need it. So for us to know that overall, you know, the uh, dryers brand is going to sell X amount of units in a given month, it doesn't really help us out. It doesn't help us to get the product where we need it to be at the exact time we need it to be there. We were solving a lot of our problems with with inventory. Um, we weren't horrible at forecasting. We just weren't as good as we knew we could be. Nestle's demand planners understood that improved forecast accuracy could result in better customer service and reduced inventory costs. The team began searching for a technology partner, one that could offer a better solution for forecasting demand. You know, for us it was about a really strong statistical engine, a really good set of robust user tools, uh, a good uh, set of reports, a good availability of data that we could quickly report on. Uh, and last but not least was a, a, a vendor that really supported our project. Nestle found that partner in SAS and its demand-driven forecasting solution, including the powerful Demand Planner Workbench, which provided them with a highly flexible forecasting platform. Demand Planner uh, Workbench is a very flexible tool. It uh, has uh, the capability to let the demand planners to review forecast at a different dimension by a different product category and uh, by different customer level. And the demand planners will be able to make changes uh, and adjustments based on the recent market intelligence and uh, be published the results to uh, other business department partners uh, across the entire organization. With the Demand Planner Workbench, promotional activities at Nestle now have direct forecast impact and transparency which leads to more accurate forecasts. A significant portion of our volume is, uh, is driven by promotion. And um, therefore, the price points are changing. Uh, the displays, the promotional tactics are changing. Um, and you know, the ability to forecast that accurately is absolutely critical for a supply chain organization if we want to deliver uh, on both service and cost. So if I have a demand plan that says, you know, I know that uh, the drumstick cones are going to do much better next week or two weeks now or three months from now and it's a national it's a national event we're going to we're going to advertise um, that person can go in and touch drumstick nationally or if they have a very specific uh, region of a chain that's going to do a, a sampling program or they're going to get a bunch of end caps that we didn't plan I can touch it at that level too so I've got the, the spectrum of being able to touch and affect that forecast that's the flexibility of the workbench the sales and operation planning process has improved too, resulting in a sales force that is more involved and better informed. You know, using SAS, we now have more information about uh, what our customers are doing, what kind of uh, lifts we're seeing because of the different promotions that we're running. And so now we're going to those SNOP meetings uh, with that type of information. So instead of talking about how a brand is going to do next quarter, we're talking about a specific retailer the prices and the promotions that they're running and what kind of volume that we're seeing. The results? Nestle says they are quite remarkable. From a forecast, I could see improvement standpoint versus the original baseline that we had. Uh, we made improvement between three and five points. And every point of improvement is worth a lot of money from the full supply chain standpoint. It's not just about getting a better score. There are real dollars associated with that forecast accuracy improvement. With this tremendous improvement to the bottom line, 
Demand planners can focus on making sure that Nestle products are where they need to be, when they need to be there. And you're able to see a much more robust picture of your data, a much more robust picture of your business that people can make better decisions on. Right? That's, that's the return on information. It's being able to see all the, the nuances in your data, all the nuances in your business, and make better decisions. By having the right signal across all our products, all our channels, all our locations, means we get to accomplish our goal of right flavor, right time, right store. And that really what is what drives a DSD business. It's about the service to that customer, right flavor, right time, right store.